Hi Virgo, welcome to Virgo Speaks Tarot, I'm Shani. Welcome if you're new to the channel, hello, hello, hello if you're returning. Hi Virgo, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. I hope you guys are doing well, Virgo. Alright, so let's see what your message is for today. I know if you guys are like, she sounds a little out of it. <laughs> yeah, I just have a lot on my mind. Um, but no, I'm good. I'm good, Virgo. All right, so let's see what's going on for Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? Holy Spirit, show me clearly. Okay, so the first message is, okay, all right, keep it down, <laughs> okay, so the first message is bull, so it says, Virgo, do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude, it's like, stay put, don't leave, don't abort mission don't walk away this is something that you can fight it's like god is saying that you're spiritually equipped to handle this situation virgo a younger woman so this situation involves a younger woman okay virgo there's someone that may be threatening you challenging you um, there's dealings with a younger woman. This may be someone who is uh, creating. I, I'm getting this energy. I don't know why. <laughs> this could be honestly a sweet person, right? But it's something about her face, facial expression. It just doesn't sit well with me. It's like she's here to stir up some drama, cause some problems that's the energy i get from her facial facial expression i don't know what it is but it's not friendly energy there's someone here that's bullying you is the energy i'm getting the throne oh my god this is all about power this is all about a pos like a put like uh, this could be like if this is work this is a younger person trying to do all that they can to bully you to make you back down feel powerless over a position of power this can be a supervisor a manager um this is uh the throne honestly this is running the show okay so there is someone here that spirit is warning you, Virgo, to not back down from, okay? Don't back down from this person. Stand your ground, okay? Um, anyone that's going against you, this is a position of authority that I feel God is putting you in, okay? So God doesn't want you to back down. Wow, Pointing the finger, warning you of a problem, either now or in the near future. So spirit is trying to let you know, get your attention, Virgo, that there will be, there's a problem here. This person is a problem, okay? This person is a problem. And spirit is warning you that, you look at this, we have tap in. Okay, so Virgo, I'm getting that you need to spiritually connect on a very, very, um, like, this is like a high level. Like, this is like, you need to tap in more than you ever have. This is not something that you've dealt with before, okay? There's a, there's a problem here that Spirit is warning you about. Look at this. I can't make it up. You are being tested, you are being tested. You were test. You're being tested. This can be spiritually. It says your spiritual team won't let you down. There's support here. You're supported, protected. Okay. 
but spirit is saying you must tap in. You are being tested. Mm. You have unlocked abundance. Now living more of a prosperous life. <clears throat> so yeah, this card is letting me know that where you are in your life, you're way more prosperous. You're blessed. You're more financially secure. You're more stronger than you've ever been. You're in more intelligent. You're more wiser. You've learned so much down this path. Okay, so spirit is saying you have unlocked, Virgo, the power of knowing how to make money, to manifest abundance. You have unlocked it. You have tapped in. Okay, regardless of what's going on here, you have already tapped into abundance. You're living a more prosperous life currently than you ever have. Okay. Give me one more message. Ooh, a divine partnership. So this is beautiful. A divine partnership is coming together. Um, I feel like for some of you, um, this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this could just be like, um, I don't know. I'm hearing like, it's like God is sending someone to you to, for protection, a divine partnership. This could be a, a love Okay, love related. This can be a you know family. This can be like someone from your spiritual team. But this it doesn't always have to be like in love. It can just be someone here that has your back for life. Someone who truly loves you. Okay, there's protection here. Yeah, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone has your back, or they could have it in their chart. Well, that air energy can represent an air sign, but it also can represent you thinking clearly, okay? Um, making wise decisions and, and choices for your life at this time. Wow, this is deep, okay? Let's see what's going on with my Virgo. So I'm seeing that some like you're you're going at it. It's like you're battling someone over pos a position of power, okay, or authority. Okay. But spirit is saying, Virgo, you have already unlocked abundance. You're already living a more prosperous life. But at the same time, spirit is saying, don't back down. This is not, yeah, this is not someone on your level. You're already in a position of authority for some of you. And you don't need to allow this younger person, this more immature energy to bother you or affect you. You know, it's like an emperor doesn't allow like a, a knight or a page to ruffle their feathers. You know what I mean? So Virgo, this is just a message for some of you that if there's someone who's giving you, you know, a hard time, you know, it's maybe it's time for you to flex your power. Okay. But let's see, Spirit, what is your message for Virgo when it comes to this energy on the table? What is your message for Virgos that are tapped in for my Virgos? What is the message here? Okay, we need a message on the table. Bats in the bell fry. <laughs> you can achieve great things, okay? All right, Virgo. So this is just a confirmation that you can achieve great things and you will. Okay, let's see what else. For Virgo. Okay, so Virgo, you will achieve great things. This is amazing. So regardless of what's going on, I feel like you're going to pass this test because remember, spirit is saying that you will be tested and there is someone or there is a problem. 
in the near future, either now or the near future. Let's get a card on the table. Give me one card for Virgo. Give me one card. Snake Princess, the Serpentine, Serpentine Path of to Power. Yeah, the Serpentine Path to Power. There it is. This is the, all about that throne. Okay, someone is shooken up by you, Virgo. You know how we do. Somebody is threatened by you, Virgo, but Spirit is saying, uh-uh, don't back down. Don't back down, Virgo. It's almost like you earned this. You deserve to be here at this level, at this position. Don't let someone who is so less than than you cause you to feel any like insecurity, okay? Because spirit is saying Virgo for you, it is meant for you to achieve great things. It is meant for you to be on this path of power. Wow. Amazing. I'm loving it. Spirit is saying Virgo at this time, you need to be showing nothing but strength and fortitude. Don't back down from opposition. This is a warning. One more for Virgo. Two more. Two more. We got fours going on here. So two more for Virgo. Give me two more. Two more cards. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Virgo. Let's see what your messages are. I appreciate you guys watching so far. Virgo, Alice in the Sea of Tears, cast away out of death, feeling just cast away, feeling abandoned, you know, feeling like isolated, feeling like left out in the cold, okay? Virgo, this is how you could be feeling right now. For some of you, you left that position. You left your position. You gave up. This is like the star card in reverse, hopeless. You gave up. You allow fear in your heart. And now you're feeling abandoned and out to sea, crying a river right now. You guys need to claim, reclaim your throne and get back in your power position. Because you have, for some of you, this is someone new coming in that God is sending you to help you, okay? It could be a best friend, a cousin, a mother, a, a new partner. This could be, you know, your relationship with God is strengthening at this time. You are coming together with God, like spiritually, okay? And it's like, you're so protected at this time, Virgo. For some of you, you need to reclaim your position, your, you know, of power. It was meant for you to be in that position, the last card is Fiona and the Unicorn. The gift, oh my goodness, the gift of sacred sight. There it is. This is why you're in that position. Because you have this amazing, tremendous power of discernment. You can see through it all. It's like this is one of your spiritual gifts. This is why you need to be in that position, okay? Because you've been gifted with sacred sight, okay? I'm not sure who this message is for, but take it definitely as it resonates, Virgo. Let's see what else is going on with my lovely Virgos. Holy Spirit, give me four messages for my lovely Virgos who have unlocked abundance who is living a more prosperous life. Okay, Virgo. I love it. I love when the messages don't back down. Don't you love it? When God is like, uh-uh, Virgo, show that strong side. Show that tough side. You know, it's almost like we can't wait to bring it out. Okay? And it's like God is like, uh-uh, Virgo. Do you, I just want you guys to see this before we move on. 
Okay? God is like, Virgo, do not back down. All right, Holy Spirit, give me four cards for Virgo. What is Virgo's message? What is Virgo's message? Give me four cards, please, for my lovely Virgos. We got a little bit more, but there's that hopelessness. There's that hopelessness energy. You you know, it's like you didn't hit a breaking point. You know, you're at a limit. You know, it's like the final straw. You're overwhelmed. Something happened. You may have received a message, a text message, an email. Something felt made you feel hopeless. Something made you feel in despair, like you're falling apart. Okay, this could be the company is ending soon. You may not have a permanent position. It could be um, we're letting you go. You know, you're, you know, whatever this was, okay? It's like you were so, look at this. You were so loyal to whatever this was. Oh my goodness, this is crazy, You were so full of faith, trust, you relied on this, okay? You were so loyal, okay? That's all I'm hearing. And it's like, it's like right now you feel abandoned. You had to walk away. Look at this, walked away, abandoned. It's like, let's see. Okay, so... The energy we are we have coming out is the energy that we pretty much already seen, okay? That you're feeling hopeless. You're at a breaking point. For some oh, this is a lot of energy. Um Let's see. Okay. So for some of you, there is somebody coming in, okay? You really need to be aware of that, Virgo. There is somebody coming in, but there is a warning of a problem. For some of you, it's a younger female that just cannot handle how powerful you are, Virgo, and you're stealing the power, the spotlight, the success from them, all right? Now, for some of you, there's a divine masculine, Okay, so take this as it resonates. There's a divine masculine um, that is a twin flame of yours. This is a twin flame. Twin flame is coming in. This is the energy coming in. All right, Virgo. So be mindful of this twin flame. This person could be very sexual. There could be a lot of sexual energy between the two of you. This person can create a major distraction in your life, okay? You could feel sidetracked. You could feel like, you, you're, you know, you're delaying your business, your success. Things can change in your life due to this person. So don't allow your focus, you know, and everything to be changed and, trend, you know, only on this person that's coming in that may give you a lot of good times, okay? Because spirit is saying, that right now you're focused on your family you're focused on rebuilding your foundation don't forget that because i feel like this this i mean a twin flame connection could be amazing you know as far as sexual as far as chemistry um but there's a lot of learning lessons this can be someone coming into your life mirroring your um you know, like things that you don't like about yourself, this person can do as well. So this can be a challenge coming in, you know, like for example, if you're very greedy, petty, you know, this person can be the same at heart as well. You know, just as an example, you know, um, you know, if you're a cheater, a player at heart, you know, just extremely flirtatious, this might be the, you know, I'm just trying to give you like little, you know, deep down inside, we know we're not perfect, you know, so little things that you may do, you know, like, for example, it may not be nothing on those levels. It could just be, you You know, you love to shop, you love to overspend sometimes. And, you know, this may be a person that's coming in that do the same thing. So if you're looking for someone that can help you and 
to be a better person. This person will help you, you know, learn a lesson, but this is not like an easy, smooth soulmate connection. This person can create a distraction in your life. So be careful because right now, Virgo, we have curse. We have a curse. Okay, this is a warning. This is a red flag. Witchcraft, okay, witchcraft can be done on you. Witchcraft could have been done on you, okay? I'm going to just say it straight out. Be careful, okay, Virgo? I don't even, you know, I don't really know what to say too much about this. Just know that spirit is saying that you are being tested, okay? And you are protected, okay? Um, but there is um, someone with a very negative mindset that may be putting a hex or some kind of curse on you, okay? on your security, God forbid, you know, your family or anything like that. But that's what I'm seeing here. Okay, Virgo. So make sure that you stay spiritually connected. Make sure that you pray over yourself, over your life. Um, and, you know, just find your strength. Don't allow yourself to feel hopeless because or overwhelmed at this time, because I feel like that is the key to everything. All right. So we're going to go ahead and move to when it comes to Virgo. When it comes to Virgo. Wow, we have so much. Okay, so we have cards that just fell out in the reverse. So I feel like this is a significant message. We have the high priestess in reverse. This is that hopelessness, that star in the reverse. This is like Virgo. There's something that happened with your... Here's the high priestess in the upright. This is how it came out. So for some of you, you know, there could be like some sort of um, spiritual worker that did this curse on you. They could be a Pisces, but this is that younger female, that high priestess in reverse. This is the person's energy that's that's doing these spells on you or, you know, putting some sort of witchcraft on you, okay? We have temperance in reverse. This is someone... Um, so basically, I'm seeing that this person is um, wishing for you to lose all hope, to lose all peace and happiness and harmony in your life. Um, this witchcraft was to rob you of a peace of mind, rob you of happiness, okay? And I'm also seeing with the Six of Swords in reverse, this is you feeling stuck, mentally stuck in a situation that's very chaotic, okay? This is definitely witchcraft. And we have the lovers here. This is a serious choice that you're going to have to make, okay? There's a choice between A or B that you're going to have to make here. And for some of you, I do see you making the choice to instead of standing your ground. For some of you, I do see you walking away. Um, Let's see here. When it comes to this choice, so this is the energy I feel like is a problem that's coming in the near future or a problem that you're currently going through. What is, um, clarify this lovers, this choice that Virgo needs to make. The Emperor. The Star. The Ten of Swords. So Virgo, what I'm seeing here...
the Ten of Swords is a permanent, like, a, a ending, okay? The Ten of Swords is an ending. But Virgo, with the Emperor coming out, I do see you staying in this powerful... It's like you're going to accept this power position. Or it's like you're going to re remain in power. Okay? We have the throne here. When it comes to the lovers making a choice, you're going to make the choice to stay in the power position as the emperor. Okay? That is going to be your choice. You're going to stay in the power position of authority. And with the star card here, this is knowing that you are protected. Knowing that you are blessed. Knowing that it is meant for your light to shine. Knowing that this was your blessing. And I'm just getting like, this is what's over. This curse. It's like this curse. It's like, even though this didn't come out in reverse, I still feel like, let me see. When it comes to this Ten of Swords, so I see Virgo is going to decide to stay in the position of power, knowing that they're going to use their spiritual gift, okay? But what is this Ten of Swords? Okay. And Virgo, I feel like you're in the spotlight with this star card as well. It's like, there's just a beautiful light here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? What is ending? What is over? Three of Cups. There's a celebration. Okay, so... It's like whatever you thought was going to be over and it was going to be a horrible, painful ending. Spirit is saying it's not. It's going to actually be, there's actually success here. There's something to celebrate. And what it is, is that there's money here. The page of Pentacles, it's like it's showing that Virgo, you are a hustler. You are a go-getter. You know how to get the money. Again, you've unlocked abundance. It's like you're going to find yourself in power. Any, You know, it's like I see you. Celebrating a loss. Instead of looking at it as. A painful ending with the three of club cups clarifying the ten of swords. This is you celebrating this loss, this ending, because your mind is always going to be focused on making money. Okay, this is good news coming in about your money. You may have done some sort of research or you may have done some sort of footwork where you found another way to make some money. And it's like, it's still going to put you in this position of power. Now, this money may not be with the page of Pentacles. This may not be the money that you really want to celebrate about, but you are celebrating that you're not backing down, that you're not giving up. That's the celebration, that, that you're going to break this curse. And that there is still good luck around your money, your finances. You found your strength. Look at this in your inner peace, your inner spirituality. You found yourself. You found that inner strength, Virgo. The hermit and the strength card. And that equals hermit and the strength card equals the six of wands. Virgo, you found your strength. You found it. And now you're going to still ride through, celebrate it, Re you know, rewarded, recognized as a winner, successful. You found your inner strength. And it's like now, you know, with that gift of sacred vision, 
You can see the snakes from afar. You can see them. So you can avoid them as well. All right. This is a very powerful reading for some of you. Wow, Virgo. So right now, Virgo, then I'm just getting you have to fight for what it is that you want in this life. You can't give up. Okay. This is your message. I'm going to leave it here, guys. I'm going to come back and do another message for you guys. But this is it. Don't forget, Virgo, that you are being tested. All right. Until the next reading, stay blessed, Virgo. Stay humble and know who you are. Bye, Virgo.